everybody I hope you're doing well today's painting video is going to be a pretty simple uh, painting of persimmons and I'm going to be using three different mediums I'm going to be using two gouache sets and a watercolor set so and I'll be talking about you know how they work how I use them how I'm trying to use them so hopefully uh, it can help anybody else out if you're looking into these brands or if you're curious about how to paint with them you know let me know in the comments below So this is a set of the Hemi gouache that I got from Amazon. I've had this set probably close to a year now, but um, when I put it in storage or when I just had it set away, I didn't keep the gel wet. Like I didn't put any water on it, so they dried out completely. So I've been trying to get the moist consi consistency back, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of only like the top layer seems to move. It doesn't really refer return to its gel form for some colors other colors do just fine some colors just are still hard i've tried mixing them but they're still chunky so you can't really take it out of the gel cup to mix new colors so as a result um, the application is really thin a lot of the times and it does not seem to dry very well so here i blow dried the first set of paint that i put on but it still um, yeah, it still bled into the black when I was painting that. So I, at that point, I just kind of gave up and tried to tried to do something, uh, tried to just make it work, but it never quite it never quite did what I wanted. And <laughs> I think that was the last time I used that set. So this is where I jumped over to the Japanese watercolor set, Gansai Tanbi. Um, I'll be switching between the two of them for a, a bit of this part because I was just getting so frustrated with the Hemi gouache set that I needed I needed to like show myself out and uh, for me the watercolor is just easier to use because I'm used to it. So as I was letting the watercolor dry I went back to the Hemi gouache and tried to do like a do-over, tried to paint over top of the parts that I didn't like. But it just, it seems to just get messier and messier. So yeah, I didn't, I was not enjoying that side so much. So now I wanna talk about why I like the Gansai Tambi so much. The color payoff I think is really good, especially for the price. These don't cost that much, but um, if you vary the amount of water you use when um, mixing the pigment, can get some really vibrant colors that just look really nice on the paper and it doesn't feel like so much work <laughs> it feels it's just nice when things go on the page very easily so I've only had the Gansai set this Japanese watercolor set for a couple months or so and in those couple months I've, I haven't really used it that much but what I have gotten from it so far I really really like um, and it's making it hard to want to learn how to use gouache because it is so easy to use but uh, yeah I recommend it if you haven't tried watercolor before and you're really not sure how to go about it I think the Gansai Tambi is a really good first set for anybody because it's not that expensive the set I have which is for 18 colors uh, I think it's about less than 30 bucks a little less than 30 bucks so that's a pretty good uh, value for the color payoff that you get and yeah the ease of use So after whinging about my terrible gouache experience on Twitter, a friend of mine suggested that I try out the Arteza gouache set. 
Um, these, I'd actually been looking into the Arteza set, but they had not been available in Japan at the time. They were just like ridiculously expensive. It seemed like they were trying to get them from an Amazon that's not in Japan. So I put it on the back burner and I didn't think about it. But when she sent over the information, it was up for sale and it was only like 24 bucks or something like that. I think 2,400 yen about for 24 colors. So it's like a hundred yen per tube, which is a very good deal. I do feel like 24 is a lot and I'm probably gonna get, get in trouble for trying to use so many colors, but it's nice to have enough colors to play with and experiment with. So here I am unboxing my brand new Arteza gouaches. As gouaches is gouache. It, I don't know how the plural works for gouache, but um, as you can see, they're in tubes, so I don't have to worry about them drying out. I think um, I put them in this little cheap dollar, one dollar palette that I have, which is not very good. It the paint dries out pretty fast, but for at the time, it it, it did the job. Oh my god, do you see how nice the color goes down? It's way more opaque than the Himmy set that I was using the previous day. I don't remember how far apart these videos are. But yeah, like this is what I was expecting and what I was not getting from the Himmy set. So yeah, I was really excited to see how easily the color was going onto the paper. Um, I still have to learn the best balance of water to wash ratio. I think sometimes I just water it down way too much and that's probably just a symptom of me using watercolor for like way too long. I'm really anxious about having thick paint on the paper so I'm gonna get used to it but overall I was really satisfied with the painting experience with the Arteza set especially considering the price, um, how many colors you get, uh, I'm not at all very good at using the gouache still, but I just had a much more enjoyable time trying out things with the Arteza set. So if you're new to wash like I am and you're just looking for an easy in, I think, honestly, I think the Arteza set is going to be better. Um, when I first had the Hemi set, it was okay, I think. Um, yeah, when it was still in its gel form, I painted with it fine. But if I consider, I guess maybe how difficult, the, the case is not airtight, so the paint is gonna dry and I don't know, maybe if I had just kept watering it, it would have been fine. But yeah, if you do get the Hemi set, just remember to put, keep water, blah, <laughs> keep putting water in it and you'll probably be fine. But at the moment I think I prefer using the Arteza set so I'm just gonna keep practicing with that and yeah I think that's all the talking I'll do for this video so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video bye Thank you.